What it do, man? It's AD. You see on the screen already, MG Sleepy. What's going on, big dog? How you doing? What's going down with it? I'm cool. You're going to have so to chill. The chilling, man. I'm literally chilling. It's, it's cold in this room, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm in the big, you know, Parker, L.L. Bean style. So if I look silly, that's why. I mean, I look silly all the time, but yeah, I look super silly right now. But it's cold. Uh, um, good. I like the background, though. The Pac-Man, whoever the art artist is on the walls, is beautiful. I love it. I love it. Yeah, for sure. What, what, where, where, where are you at right now? Is this a studio? What kind of, is this a, what, 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 where are you at? I'm at the powerhouse. This is my uncle's studio. He just recently passed the shit, though. But Man. My this condolences. history of the, all this whole building, it's called the powerhouse, though. Super dope. Well, once again, my condolences. This is a powerhouse in Columbus, or? Yeah, powerhouse in Columbus, Ohio. Okay, and, that, and that's where you're from, North right? Side. Yeah. It's on the north side, too, to be exact. That's where I'm from, too. I'm from the north side, Columbus side. Okay, copy that. Because I, I hear, uh, like, well, and I, the two records I've, you know, I've listened to, right, CU and uh, the O.J. Simpson, um, I mean, courtesy of the production, but also your flow, I hear a lot. Of, I, I hear the Detroit sound. I mean, the Detroit sound is, is popping right now, too, so I don't know if that, but I hear I hear Detroit in it. Um, <laughs> and who, so who do you listen to, or who did you listen to? Who'd you come up on? Real for I listen to Kodak Black and like um I listen to Rio. Okay, all right. Little baby, like young boy, like a lot of different sound, like different people, but on like the Detroit sound though, I don't even like rapping on Detroit beats. If anything, I really a shout out Flint before like sometimes people don't be knowing the difference between the sounds as Detroit is a whole different like I do, my like I be having a groove in it. You feel me? Like I don't like rapping on. I don't know. We are the Midwest though. More of the story though. That's how you basically. No, for sure. No, you, you know, it's, I, I like I like hearing different sounds take part, right? Because we get we get sounds in waves, and so I I where, yeah. regardless of where they from, I definitely like hearing them um, get activated and uh and popularized because it just goes to show you you know different styles and what they can do no so for sure that's just where my ear took me to when i hear it but not in a bad way or anything like that but i would just I, for no, me I, no. I like i like i like hearing the progression of it from one space to another if you will um it made me curious about what you came up on um uh this is random but i just saw this on instagram man how much how, how much should a man pay for a haircut who uh, any man what should a, what should what should a man pay for a haircut What's what's a what's a what's a what's a ball? What's a good range? I say forty and up. Forty and up. So if it's below forty, you should you you shouldn't be getting a, a crazy crisp haircut. Yeah, below forty, you shouldn't really be angry about anything <laughs> at that point, right? No, real life. That's about a hairline. Edge up. No, for twenty. Facts. Uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting my cut in a, in a couple hours. It's also also made it relevant to me. Um, but I, I, pay, I pay 72 with my tip. But I got people that complain about paying the 30 ball. I'm like, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. It's a, it's a different day. Y'all got to get y'all cut together, man. Y'all got to respect the barber. Um, you can't um, even do that no more. It's, it's some barbers that's 100 and up where they uh -huh. ain't even about to pull up. J J what, what I saw on Instagram was Jalen Rose. He was saying uh, you should not be paying less than 100 for a cut. And Lil Duval reposted it and was saying, no, you tripping. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to pay 100 for a cut. But if you're going for a certain, you know, a certain type of cut, you're going for, you know, that extravagant, excellent cut, then I don't think that below 50 is or below 40 even is, is going to get you what you need. Uh, so, no, random, I know for sure. Um, I got to ask you. So you made 100 at the Speedway and you bought condoms with it. Yeah. I mean, it's That's safe. It's safe. Right, it keeps you safe, but man, I only have ever spent a hundred dollars on condoms in one in one purchase. If you if you know how much coochie flowing around here, you know you might as well stack up. Be prepared. No, real life, real life. I respect you. Lock in. My goodness, that's crazy. Um, the next bar that stood out to me in the record was I get married and kill my wife. I'm OJ Simpson. Help help me through this. Like take help me here. Help me here. Oh man. What yeah, basically, you know how you be arguing with your little your little shorty or whatever, whoever female you we all dealing with something, or at least one. But more of the story though. You know how it be when you get to Ari like and then you kill you, like you making me want to kill you. Going to high speed, but that's the thoughts that was going through my head, you know? 
That's right. You shared your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm gonna say I don't know, but, but I, but I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play it cool and play it safe on this side. Um, the the last one, 30 bars. I'm punching every line. Now, when you say I'm punching every line, do you mean you punching in every line, or you mean every time it's a punch line, like you hit you hitting with a heavy hit every time? What's the concept behind this? If you punch in every single bar, that's crazy. Like you're, you're not basically, punching in every single line to record, are you? Basically, when I be rapping, I really do. I probably just say two, three bars at once and then punch in. But yeah, I punch in everything because I don't write. Okay, so right. Coming up with it as I'm, you feel me, as I'm rapping, that's how I, I be just punching in. Like, I'll say something and then punch in. Is that tedious? In. That's got to be tedious for your engineer. I ain't going to lie. It'd be crazy. Like, I, I, I just been recording like that for so long. Like, now they used to. Like, that's I'd be having little pauses in, in the middle of me saying something. Like, they know. Well, well, I mean, yeah, and, and, that, and that's right. Once, once you work together for so long, you know how each other work. So that makes sense for sure. But holy cow, man. So how long does it take you to record a record? An average, an average sleepy record? I'd probably say like, what? 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour at the okay, max. So, oh, so, okay. So that's not even, okay. I'm, I'm thinking it's about to be long, longer than that. If I had to punch every record, oh, man, I'm done. I'm done. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Respect. I be you knew what I really thought on a daily basis. I'm scared I, now. Man. I said bye. <laughs> no, real life. Real life. Well, you be rapping, so it work out well. Now, when I say rapping, you be rapping, rapping. I don't, you know, it's a difference. Um, so yeah. so the punches work out well in your favor. Um, so for sure, for sure. Um, you have a new project dropping, paid to talk, February 24th. So next week, what is that? Uh that's that's next Friday, so a week from today, next Friday. Um, what can uh what can what can listeners, fans? viewers expect to expect to hear on this project that we haven't heard from Sleepy before? Um, I can say I did more samples on there for sure, but I, I was just Love really, um, I was doing my, like, how do I say, like, I was just trying to, like, how do I say it? Like, I was, I was really had my flow everywhere. Like, I was just trying different stuff on there. So, basically, it's just a mystery. It ain't, on one sound on there. Like most of my tapes I choose like oh uh, this one I'm gonna make it like on some laid back the whole tape would be like that or this one a headbanger the whole tape like that. This one like on some it's just mixed all in. You feel me? Right. How many records are we getting on the project? I could say fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. And how how what's what's the what's the length of the project time wise? Wait, where where <laughs> are we thirty Ooh. minutes, we forty five minutes? Like is this like a is this across the city commute? Is this a you know a ride to work? What what's the, what's the time you looking at? I could say about ooh, I could say about thirty minutes. Okay, all right. So right in that commute time, that's cool. I, I think it's I think it's good to be able to listen. Like I like to listen to a project when I know I got ample time. Okay, cool. I can do this in this drive or this ride. Right, I hop on that's, the train and do this. That's for sure something like. By the time, by the end of it, I know, I know whoever listened to it, they gonna know. That's enough time for me to get off what I need. You feel me? For them to know what I'm trying to. No, I'm trying to. I definitely did. Definitely did. Um, so you've got over 18 million streams, 1.2 million streams in January alone. So, like, with the streams, right? We see you see you hitting new levels. Do you feel it though? Do you feel like okay, like even like star power when you go places? Like, do you feel yeah. like okay, I'm hitting a new level here as an artist? Yeah, everywhere I go now, like somebody know me. It ain't really nowhere I can go where somebody don't know me. Like, especially little kids though, it'd be crazy with little kids a lot. That's like everything I do starting to get like bigger, matter more. Like everything I do is just deeper than what it seemed now. It ain't just like moving around like a regular person. Like everything got a deeper meaning now. That's real. And and that's gotta be, I mean, I, you know, going into the field that you're in, right? Artistry and entertainment, right? Music, it's, it's gotta be part of the goal because that that equates success to a certain degree. But also, is it is it somewhat scary though too? Say it again. I mean, that's got to be part of the goal as an artist, right? Because the more celebrity you attain, you want the more listeners. That's that's what you're trying to do. But is it scary also? 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say scary, but I did have a conversation with my boy. My boy, he do like he like a um, Christian rapper, but he used to rap like me. Okay. Like, same like background, whatever you feel me. He grew up in the trenches. You know how I be. More of the story. He a Christian rapper now, but he was basically telling me like after he converted over whatever, like I got a big influence on everybody like in the city and the kids and stuff like. So I'd be rapping and might say some crazy things that I did or went through. And people was taking that and feel like that they got to go through that or do that to get where I'm at. Basically, like, so it'd be like rapping. You try to put some positive hope in it and trying to get the what I'm really trying to say out. Right. That's what I'm seeing in, like, oh, like, dang. Like, I'd be I'd rap and somebody would tag me in something like a, something not. I was saying, and they just socked on a little boy at school or something, or got into a fight or something, but they think that's cool. Right. I'd be laughing, I'd be weak, but it's like it ain't cool. <laughs> no, I, no I, I, I totally get I, I totally get what you're saying, right, where you're coming from. Um, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's got, yeah, it's, it's like, what can you do, though, as far as that? I mean, you can't let it stop your artistry or your genuine music. Um, no, that's, that's really where the, um, where these come in and play like the interviews and different stuff when I just be speaking on stuff so people can know, like, you feel me, get to know me better. Like, I be rapping about what I went through and how to, how I got out of it. Right. Like, not, not trying to give off the influence as to go do exactly what I did or go do this. Because you could be, you feel me, like, every different shows for different folks, everybody ain't going to get the same results. Right, do for sure. I think it's a bigger I, I think it's a bigger societal problem, right? Because people people hear music, they want to they want to they want to be able to say the same things these rappers have said or done, right? Okay, oh, yeah. he wants to do this, he did like it. They really did it. Right. But that, doesn't, that doesn't make you cool though. That, that's that, that's what people have it twisted. No. Cuz like that's 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 really is like when people get to doing that and trying to make that cool, it's like they're not being a self. Agreed. I'm like People, people will mess with you more for you just being yourself. When you too much like the person you trying to be like, like eventually they ain't even going. You feel me? It ain't really nothing impressive. You right. trying to be too like somebody. Like people really will mess with you just more for you being different, being your own person. Because people is. like me, people like I don't want to feel like I'm meeting the same person over and over, hanging around the same person over and over. That ain't right. For life, no, diversify. No, I. I Love the way you put that. Love the way you put that. Straight up, man. Um, uh, upcoming, we talked about you got a you got South by Southwest in Austin, March sixteenth and seventeenth. You got the DTLR tour, uh, March twenty fourth through April first, and you got uh, your opening for Sleazy World Glow uh, in Columbus at Scully's. Um, what can a fan that hasn't been to a, a, an MG Sleepy concert yet expect to see and feel at an MG Sleepy concert? Hey, I accept it's a different feeling. It's like it's a whole different feeling. It ain't just like a regular one, like no regular kind. Of like I can say, like my fan base. I know his fan base is. You feel me? He already doing his thing where he from and with he do. But my fan base like a cult. Like okay. it's crazy. Like it, you gonna it's it's like you gonna feel it though. Like you could come to one of my shows and not know the words to the song. But the vibe, though, you're going to feel like you did. Right. No, nope, that that's, that's what you can expect. Like, you're going to get, you feel me? You're going to get the vibe. I like that. No, I like that for sure. I, when I was listening to the uh, to the OJ Simpson, I was I'm listening to it in the office, and I was low-key mad. I'm like, okay, I need to get in the car, get in the car now. Because one, one of them joints you can move to, though. You feel me? Like, okay, I, I like to, my, my favorite place to listen to music is in the car. When you get a record that you can drive to, and you can, like, now, I'm not saying you should drive fast or anything, but, you know, you get a cool little momentum going. It's one of them records that you could, okay, you, you find that vibe. Okay, I'm in lane to lane. All right, it's a, it's a comfort record low key. Like, it's a cruising record. Um, so, I, I, I definitely see what you're saying. You catch that feeling. Okay, it's through the music for sure. Um, what We were just talking about, you know, influence, and, and I always ask this question, so I might as well get it off now. Um, 
I got a son, his name is Miles, he'll be four next week. And so I asked this for him, but I asked this for all the youth. What is a piece of advice from MG Sleepy, um, you know, going forward in life? You know, how do how, how to, you know, continue moving, live a positive life and, uh, and live a successful life? What would MG Sleepy tell the youth right now? I'll just say, really best thing to do, stay down, stay out the way for real. Do your own thing, you feel me? Like, do your own thing. Like, it'd be different ways to make money. Like. You ain't always got to take the wrong way or will look cool. I know some people that just make clothes or do clothes. It's rich. I know dude down the street that only sell cars and he got chicken. We go, you feel me? We can hang out whenever we hang. Everybody don't do the same thing. I'll just say focus on what you really believe in and what you feel like you good at. And that take your own route. You feel me? Whatever supposed to come, going to come. Everything happened for a reason. I believe everything happened for a reason. Nothing happened for no reason. So... I'll just say keep pushing through whatever you can get to. Nope, straight up, straight up. And for someone who is is, is new to MG Sleepy right now, i.e. myself, um, what does the MG stand for? Motion gang. Motion gang. Okay, all right, keep, keep it in motion. There you go. No. Everything is all in the motion. My uncle always used to say that. It's all in the motion. Like that. How long has Powerhouse been, been around as a studio? Mm. I just I could say about I could say about six six seven years about now yeah like six seven years. and you gonna you you gonna keep it going I'm assuming oh yeah for sure for sure we still going right now I love it no. I think we is gonna be able to go right now we still going and you doing it no facts facts I love to hear it I love to hear it um well MG Sleepy Man I don't want to take too much of your time I appreciate your time I I, I do want to let you know um as soon as we get off this call I'm gonna get a uh I'm gonna get CU and OJ Simpson in rotation here at 88.3 WLFC we're a campus station at University of Finley so a little bit up north from Columbus um but we we play we, we play we play the records and so um uh we'll get those in rotation and anything that we can do to support um and uh and yeah support um let us know man we are here to support i appreciate your time and enjoy the rest of your day big dog so you too bro i appreciate you bro tap in with me though you got it we'll do big love sure